Hello everyone, I'm back in another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop. The exact model is a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 15 IML05. The model name is an 81WP. And in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean the inside of the laptop, the dust, the fan, the heat sink and repaste your CPU. You should be doing your own service and cleaning once every year, year and a half, depending how often you use or how heavily you use the laptop. If you're using for gaming or heavy load, rendering, you want to do your service. Uh, this is not a benchmark testing or anything like that. This is just a simple servicing of the laptop. I get a comment to go, oh, why don't you put after or before? This is not a benchmark. This is a simply, you know, take it as a car oil change. You have a car, you want to do oil change. You do it because there's a certain time that you have to do your oil change. Same thing in here. I'll go over the tools that I'll be using on this service. And every tools and everything that I use will be the link in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Tool number one, a good screwdriver set. I will recommend you the iFix screwdriver set as they have one of the best fits. This is the basic set. From this tool set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with the tweezers, opening tools, and a few other stuff. If not, just get the basic set. For the opening tools, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. A curved tweezers. And you need a good thermal paste. I recommend you with an Arctic MX4 or Arctic MX6. Those are one of the best thermal paste. You don't need to go crazy with that thermal paste. You can go with a thermal grizzly. But for this mid-range laptops, you don't need to. With the Arctic MX4, MX6, those are way better. It's still better. All right. And you need an alcohol, 99 or 98% isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. Don't get anything under 98. You need a workshop towel. One bit of the workshop towel. Don't use any microfiber towels or anything like that. You need a workshop towel. The reason is, as soon as you put an alcohol on the towel, and you try to clean the mud of the components, this will rip apart very easily, softly, and will not damage the components on the motherboard. Unlike the microfiber towels, if you try to clean the CPU that has a lot of capacitors, you can blow those capacitors away with the uh, strings of the microfiber. All right, with the, all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. Also, a toothbrush, used or new toothbrush to clean the fan system and the dust mesh. I believe I didn't miss anything, so let's get into it. Power of the laptop. On the bottom of the laptop, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. The front end of the screws are the short ones. The mid towards the back, those are the long screws. So keep them in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. You don't want to put a long screws where the short screws go. Otherwise, it's going to pop out from the palm rest out, and you're going to have a tiny nipple on the palm rest. All right, so I'm going to remove the rest of the screws. Also, if you guys like my video, if you find my video helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. Appreciate that. All right, now that we removed the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab yourself the opening tool. And now we're going to open up the laptop a little bit. And we are going to stick it between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that about two or three millimeters inward and then you just want to twist it and you want to hear those big click sounds you're gonna those are the clips are getting loosened so just rotate like that and do the same thing on the side you want to stick about two or three millimeters at the topic you're not sticking the whole thing in there go to the back corner do that one as soon as you do the sides and the front the rest should come out pretty easy in the back, this one came out too. Sometimes you gotta see there's a tiny clip right in there that is broken. Don't worry about if you break a tiny clip, those are not important. The clips are there, the assembly line is not there to uh, keep the power in place. These clips are in there, so in the assembly line, they put it on, it sticks in, so it goes to the next station, they put the screws. The screws do that, the main job of holding this power in place, not the tiny clips. After a few years of the, using the laptop, this plastic does get dried up. As soon as you open it up, no matter how gently you open it up, those clips will uh, rip apart and will uh, come out. So don't worry about that. 
So this one just came out already. So take it outside, clean it with a dust uh, toothbrush. You can even wash it out and leave it for dry if you want to be picky. All right, down here, I'll see the heat sink, the fan. I see a little bit of dust plugged in there. So before we do anything, we're going to disconnect the battery. So we cannot pull this jack back for it's really hassle and you have to struggle in the between the cable. So the easiest way is to remove three screws, one on this side and two on the left side, there and there. Once you remove these three screws, just lift up the battery, bring it up and slide it towards the front and it will disconnect this connector right there. You can even clean under the battery, which will be dusty. All right, we can put that to one side. This is the BIOS battery, leave it on. First, we're gonna remove the heatsink by removing four screws on the, these screws have a little C-lock, so they will not come out entirely, so you wanna loosen them up. So loosen up all these four screws. And then you wanna grab it by the neck here, closest to the heat CPU, and lift it up. You see all that dust in there? There we go, you see, look at that. You wanna clean all this dust. So that's why you shouldn't blow air through here. Otherwise, you're going to push that dust inside the fans and it's going to plug the fan and stop the fan from rotating. All right, so there's the heat sink. That old thermal place is kind of dried out. Take it outside, blow some air with a toothbrush and clean it up. And I'll put it to one side. And now we're going to, you can remove the fan from here and clean it up. Or you can leave it here and just use a toothbrush to clean it. Before you blow any air through here, you want to disconnect the fan. Put the tweezers right on the side of the jack, right there, or your finger, and then you just want to twist it backward, wiggle it, and it will come out very easy. But you don't want to yank on those cables, or it really flimsy. it. But once you disconnect the fan, now you can blow some air without removing it. You don't need to, but if you want to remove it, you have to remove one screw right there, two screws, and three screws. And once you do that, you can lift up the fan, but you still have to detach the Wi-Fi cables and untangle the cables around the fan. Just goes up and down. And then you can take the fan outside, use a toothbrush and clean it up. And you can clean even on the case here, there's a lot of dust. So I'm gonna take this outside and clean it up and I'll be back. I took it outside and I cleaned up the heat sink and the fan with a toothbrush. So before we do any repasting first, we're gonna Tangle these cables in there and goes up and down, down, up. So it's like that. And like that. And then you want to pull it. And this cable go right under this tiny hook. Come out, align the screw holes, put it right in there. I like to leave a little room for wiggle for the screen when it comes up and down. So you don't need extra cables here. To put this connect cables, just align them over the jack and just push them down. They just push, pop in. So align them and just push them down straight. So we have those two cables antennas in there. Right away we're gonna connect the fan connectors. Most people forget about fan connector and then they get overheating. Put the three screws for the fan, two short screws on the left side of the fan and one long screw on the right side of the fan. Now what you want to do, you want to grab a little bit of workshop towel. You want to stick it, stock it down and we're going to wipe the CPU. Just wipe it up. There we go. You see the towel rips apart before damaging anything. And use the same towel to remove the excess of the thermal paste in there. Just swipe it nicely. And use a dry part to make a nice clean. Same thing, dry part. Now what you want to do, you want to grab your thermal paste. You want to put a one line on the main die. You don't want to put anything on the secondary die. The secondary die is called a PCH chip, which is now built beside the CPU in the same chip. This one does the file transfer stuff like that. It's called a south bridge. 
or PCH chip. You don't need a thermal paste on that. That's why they cut this space right in there, so it doesn't touch the heat sink. Because the temperature for this one doesn't rise up, so we don't want to transfer the heat from the CPU die to the PCH chip. Hold it down and cross screw the screws for the heat sink. Always you want to cross screw them so that way the thermal paste evenly spreads around the CPU die. Alright, once we have that one in there, grab the battery that you cleaned up already. Align before you put it down the screw hole and snuggle it right there. You don't want to do that. You want to lift it up, align the contact in front of the jack, push it in, pinch them together all the way in, and then put the screw holes in place. And put the, I believe there was a, maybe I did this one, not the three screws for the battery, one on the right and two on the left side. All right, once we got this one done, double check the fan connector, the heat sink, everything is in place. Grab the bottom cover, align it right on top, push down really hard on the corners, and it's gonna make a big pop sound and it's gonna just go in place. That's what you want to do. You want to just push it down and it will go to its place. And one last thing would be to just put the short screws in front of the laptop and the medium to the mid towards the back. And that should cover up today's video. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to service your own Lenovo IdeaPad 3 laptop. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up the bottom.